Hello, so welcome back. We didn't actually vlog that much on the way here because we were just quite busy. We got up quite early. It was a long drive, it's about six, six hours. Six yeah, hours. only three stops. Yeah. Um, Not bad. No, two. Two stops. two stops. That's very good for you. Very good bladder control. Um, so yeah, so my water has gone from, I was having five and a half litres for the last few days down to three litres. So it meant I could hold it a little bit more. Um, and I'm in my lovely onesie thing right now. It's a tanning onesie um, because basically once you've had your tan, you want really loose fitting clothes. And as you can tell, hopefully you can tell that I'm tanned. Does it look like I'm tanned? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, it should develop more overnight, hopefully. Um, but yeah, so we went, uh, we travelled up. I've had my meals on the way up and... Um, Nothing that exciting has happened really so far to document, other than the fact I've obviously had my base coat. We saw the venue, the venue looks insane. It looks so, so, so good. Um, and yeah, and now we're at the Airbnb and it speaks for itself, <laughs> this venue. <laughs> this venue, this apartment, this flat, come in. Here we are. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> We decided we we're going to give up with Airbnb, didn't we? Yeah, luckily the other two hotels are actually in a travel lodge in a Premier Inn, I think. Safe so, bets. Well, we chose Airbnb because when you compete in, um, it's nice to have a fridge because I like all my food. Like I've worked Matt's food. <laughs> Don't look at the cookies. <laughs> Can be <laughs> convenient stuff. <laughs> my food, see the cool box. I've had to bring stuff up pre weighed in bags. So when you've got a fridge, it lasts overnight. So you've still got chicken to take with you, and you don't have to go to the shops. So that's why an Airbnb is good, but um, I mean, this is actually all right compared to the outside of the place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we won't talk about that. Yeah, it's um, it's not. It's. I'll double lock the door. Yeah, that's what we need to do. <laughs> <laughs>
Yes, Georgia, come on. Boom. Go on, Georgia, you got it. Yes. Yes, Georgia. Boom. Go on, Georgie, you got it, nice and tight. Georgia, you got it. Um, 
but they changed the criteria of the posing halfway through posing um, to make it very glute and hand focused so it wasn't the lat spread anymore um, or flaring of the lats I shouldn't say lat spread that's bodybuilder um, it wasn't flaring of the lats are you right? and um, it was very much tubo so it was very much glute and hamstring focused um, which they I changed mid category well, yeah, that, which I've same. never never seen that before so which is oh, <laughs> which is <laughs> which is fine um, but if that's what they were looking for that isn't something that I had um, so it just meant that um, I had to accept that that's what they wanted and that's what I couldn't bring to the table um, so it is what it is I have looked back at my photos I'm so ready for the stage photos I've looked back at my photos and I have made progress from my first show in 2019 to come back to this what would be my second show in 2021 to make some serious progress which is my biggest biggest goal because I'm remember your competition is yourself you can't compare yourself to anyone else because you can only bear yourself you can't make yourself look like someone else so I'm really really happy with the package I brought another weakness of mine is confidence um, the reason I do these shows is because I'm all about stepping out your comfort zone doing what scares you um, and shows scare me. I, I love the training, love the prep. Remember, when you do something like this, you're not doing it for the show day. You're doing it because it's a lifestyle. You enjoy the journey. You enjoy the process. And the show day is just like a cherry on top of the cake. So, um, yeah, it's it's just one of those things. Um, and obviously, we've got a few more shows coming up. So we just need to make a first one where I have my hand on my hip. It's just rubbed all my tan off. Um, yeah, so we need to make a plan of action moving forward, but we're driving back now. Um, still had a lovely day. Um, the guys that run it were lovely. Um, I had such a fun day. Met Erin and uh, Stacey, who's been basically my prep buddy. Bikini girls. It's just been a really fun day and just had the best support from Matt. He's been so, so, so good. So, <laughs> so um, it has been still a journey. Remember, you, need, you control your mindset. You control how you're going to move forward. Um, I've had... I don't even know if I've got like a donut on me still. <laughs> I think I've got donut on my house. <laughs> we went for a pizza. You had earlier. We went for a pizza and a donut and a few donuts earlier, which was lovely and it's just like topped me up, ready to keep pushing. Um, so yeah, that is an update on us. Anything else? Yeah, so just to recap, everything about her was absolutely insane. Just needed to come in. Bit liter. Bit liter? Bit liter. Bit liter. About two to three kilos leaner, I would say. Yeah, uh, yeah I just need to bring it in a, a bit more. My body's been, I can happily say, I know I could have, have pushed any more. Like, I can't, like, you know, you don't want to get to that stage where you look back and be like, oh, I could have pushed harder. Like, I, my prep's been hard. I've done everything I could to bring my best condition. And that's fine. Like, if I need to be leaner, I know I've got a few weeks to keep pushing and bringing it in leaner. We're going to be very sensible with my plans moving forward. Plans have changed. Um, so, I'm not going to say what now. You're going to have to look into the next YouTube. Or follow my Instagram. And we'll put my Instagram here. Um, and you'll find out what I'm doing next. The plans have changed. Me, Matt and Aaron have all been discussing um, sensible plans moving forward, what we're doing with prep. Um, so that's super, super exciting. Um, just need to put the wheels in motion there. And uh, can you not yawn on me? I was going to do that. I want to But yeah, that is it for now. Thank you. For, we've tried to record as much as we could of the day. Um, can't wait for the stage shots to be in. So again, we'll stick some comparisons up because like I said, I've done my best to bring my best to the stage. Um, it's just just my stubborn legs. Um, but you know, it doesn't mean you give up because something doesn't work. You just, you just keep going, you keep pushing, you keep making it happen. Um, and it's about how you, you you control your mindset moving forward and what you're going to do to keep yourself moving forward. So um, we have a plan in place. We're going to keep going. The drive home is currently ridiculous. It is chucking me down the brain. Yeah. Um, okay. And we are how long away from home? Three hours. Three hours. So we're about three hours in. About halfway. Yeah. And I have I have Bay back in my life. 
so yeah, so we're gonna get some tunes on, put the wheel, I need to sort of, sort of send some emails and get these plans changed for show day. And uh, yeah, we'll keep you in the loop. Um, it's gonna be an exciting, it's gonna be an exciting few weeks, but actually an exciting few months. We have a lot going on, including social stuff. So we have competing stuff, and I have my Hindu next month, in a few months. And obviously we're gonna have more shows. We have our wedding, we got loads. So if you want um, us to cover anything when it comes to competing, when it comes to um, training, when it comes to coaching, when it comes to anything at all, drop it in the comments below. We'll keep an eye on everything. But otherwise, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll keep the videos coming because we've got so much going on over the next few days. Um, and that's it for now. So, you got anything else left to say? I didn't finish my recap from earlier. That was about half an hour ago, I think. <laughs> finish your recap. Lena and more confident. Oh yeah, I've got no confidence. But like I said, this is, I don't even know if I just said that. This is why we do it. You've got to do what scares you. If you don't do what scares you, you will never grow, you will never learn, and you will never improve. So, as much as I might seem confident, I'm absolutely a nervous wreck when it comes to being on that stage. Shaking like a shit dog up there. Yeah, I'm not very good at that. Uh, but, we try. I watched a lot of RuPaul. My walk is a lot better. I definitely yeah. have I have videos of my first walk and that walk, so that's improved. Um, it's just the shaking I, I haven't controlled. Posing, stage presence in general, apart from the shaking, and uh, yeah, muscle growth, insane, insane different. Hard in COVID. Yeah, Lena, and then we'll we'll watch this stronger. space. We come back even stronger next time I'm on stage. God damn you hippo hamstrings, you will be in. <laughs> and we will see you in the next one.